Last time on Death Mark. I remember now. His eyes are wide as saucers. I forgot because of the mark, but I... I've met you before. Oh, you have? And then, you said something strange. You said she gave you the mark. That she loved watching you lose your memories and fear death. Seems she has no intention of hiding her presence any longer. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Greetings, my beautiful viewers! I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to Deathmark! And we're about to confront her. She! The one who cursed us! The one who did all this to us! And I have a feeling I know exactly who it is! Because Bonshi helped us, um, get our memories back, helped us figure things out, and I think I know exactly who it is. It seems she has no intention of hiding her presence any longer. New information is added in pursuit of the truth. Oh! Oh, okay, I... Well, if I'd have known there was going to be a save point here, I would have done that. Make a whole new save for this. Okay. Let's go to my bag. Everyone's been saved! I saved everyone! Yep. I still have the bell, and I still have the rusty, uh, sword, and a lot of blanks. Okay. Okay. Seen all these. Western-style cushion. That's depressing. Is it the heart of the grudge or the source of the spirit? No way. Something was there. Something cursed. Something that might be able to stop the cannon soldier. Nope. Then we had to face the cannon soldier. And my past self, after we defeat the soldier, Banshee's mark disappears and he remembers meeting me several times before I lost my memory. I told him she gave the mark to me. Okay, I want to see. In pursuit of the truth. If I have a feeling I'm getting closer to the, to the truth I've been pursuing. I've defeated five spirits now since I first came to Cujo Mansion. But none were the one who gave me my mark. So where exactly is this she that I need to face? My old self knew, and prepared something to help me, uh, to help the me with no memory. Then there must be a way to stop her. Don't be afraid. I've got to trust in myself. Alrighty. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I have to talk. To Mary. Mary's the one who cursed me. I fucking knew it. But... But, but why? I mean, like, I, I want to know the why as well, because she definitely seemed kind and everything. Now, if that was all, if that was all a huge, um, like, ploy, because he mentioned that she wanted him to lose his memories and suffer the fear of death repeatedly. So, I mean, I don't know if that's what that is. So we meet again. Mary's voice is soft. I know now. Behind those words is hidden an intense lust for blood. You came back to life rather quickly. You gave me nearly a whole day. More than enough time. I admit that rabbit's attack surprised me. But unexpected events can themselves be rather enjoyable. When I had brought Mary to H Shrine, caught sight of the rabbit there, it might have suspected Mary's true nature. That rabbit, its great love for you pushed it into recklessness. What was that rabbit, really? 
Determine that for yourself. Who are you? Know that, and the answer will come. Though it is impossible, so long as you bear the mark I gave you. Mary gave me the mark. I had a hunch, but hearing it from her lips fills me with dread. Just what are you trying to accomplish? Dragging the living to the depths of despair before killing them. I believe I explained that it is a spirit's utmost desire and joy. And I had your cooperation with achieving that. Co cooperate? It's ridiculous. Oh, have you not realized it yet? You did bring those pathetic mark bearers directly to the spirits, did you not? This is true. They feared the spirit's existence, trembled in the face of death. I savored the taste of that fear and despair. Most delicious. You had all of us help out. Just to terrify the mark bearers even more? Clearly. I could have waited for the curses to complete if I'd only wanted them dead. That is not the only lie. Mark bearers must stay in small groups. Do not contact outsiders. All my instructions were to drive you into a state of emergency. Hm. Not once did you doubt me. But she's telling me all of this because she wants me terrified with how hopeless the situation I find myself in is. I'm frozen in this place. I know my face must be as pale as death. She must be loving this. Don't tell me you created all those spirits. Just to accomplish that. Indeed. When Lady Christie believed divine wrath was the cause of the mark, I had never been more amused. Her foolishness was so delightful, I just had to come along with you. So you lied. Of course. How could a pile of broken stones possibly do anything? I could be imagining it, but... I feel like she hesitated for a moment there. Fifty years ago, I was sealed away by the head of the Cujo family. I awoke five years ago. At the time, I was still unable to speak and communicate. But a scene that my awakening alone caused a number of ripples. Those who died unfortunate deaths and cursed land became... On, on Cursed Land became monstrous spirits. The H Elementary Abuse, the Honeybee Mass Suicide, Seiko's Assault and Suicide. They all happened five years ago. Yeah, they did. And finally, I regained my full power a little over a month ago. Then the Buddha statue connected to me 50 years ago began moving. The woman killed by the statue was influenced by my power. That must be the, uh, Kanan soldier and, uh, Zukawa. Zukawa believed it was a divine oracle from the soldier, but it really had been Mary. She did as the great Ashura said and transformed herself into Miss Zu. Of course, my strength returned. I, I again bestowed my power on spirits. It connects humans to me and manipulates them into a panic. The Mark. I know you've been toying with us, but, well, was there really a need to make us be connected to you in some way? Of course. By being in direct contact with you, I could taste your fear. Even now, you are scared. Are you scared of me, Lord Yashiki? Oh, so you are terrified to the extent that it steals your speech. Uh-oh. Her porcelain face cracks. Ever since you declared you would fight the mark, I have waited eagerly for this day. 
over the past ten days. I have tasted your fear through the mark. Thick and syrupy, as sweet as honey. Each savored morsel made me want to smash you to pieces. But I waited. I'm not so foolish as to kill a goose that lays golden eggs. Ah, I cannot take it any more. By crushing a ripe fruit and sipping its juices, I want to break you down and savor your sweet fear. Whoa! Well, that's fucked up. Sunrise, few minutes until death closes in. My thoughts blur together suddenly. What's happened to the mark? What happens to a mark right before dawn? I've seen it several times. Is that what's happening to me now? Lord Yashiki, wait for me. I'll kill, kill, kill! I can hear Mary stand up over by the sofa. At this rate, Rabbit's fate will be mine too. I have to run away. Check with the red in my room. Sayakujo! Something whispers in my ear. It's right, that voice. What does my room mean? Focus. Who does the voice belong to? Asuoka said it was someone who loved me. Live or die time, guys. Up against the final battle against Mary. Oh my god! Harry's coming closer. Where should I run? Saya's room. I sprint at full speed up the stairs and fly into Saya's room. I'm safe! Good! Much like the entrance hall, it's dark. Yep. The voice said, check within the red in my room. Something there? Where should I look? Uh, I'm gonna check the blood on the floor. I'm safe again. Good. I'm I'm doing good, guys. So Kujo's blood stain is on the floor. It's obvious, dry by this point in time. Might be something lying on top of it. Can't be sure. It's too dark. Nothing was there last time I was here. Picking it up, I discover there's a small pouch inside a hard, thin object. I move over to the moonlight to see it better. It's a small Buddha statue. Can't be. Is this the Nenji Butsu? Seems to be stained with blood, and I get an ominous feeling from it. The impurity hasn't been exercised yet. I instinctively know the instant I see it. My mind is suddenly flooded with all of my memories of the Nenjibutsu one after another. Fifty years ago, the head of the Kujo family used it to seal Mary's power. He put the uh, Nenjibutsu inside her to seal her. Then about a month ago, someone took it out. That person was me! Because of that, Mary regained her powers. Then G Butsu in my hand looks exactly as it did back then, full of impurity. Impurity that built up from sealing Mary's power 50 years ago. To cleanse it, I left the Nenji Butsu at the uh, uncontaminated H shrine. It would take time to exercise all the impurity. It's already July. The summer purification ride is over. So why is it still impure? object the rabbit had in its mouth could have been carrying the pouch then instead of the master key then the Nenjibutsu was taken away from Atrine before the beginning of July but the rabbit saw Mary by the shrine and was scared she would find it so I had no choice but to steal it away oh the door just door to the adjacent room opens Mary must be looking for me but she can sense the power of the, the... But she can sense the presence of the Mark Bearers. What's going on? Wait. 
Is it possible that Saya's blood is protecting me? Bring it to where I meet my end. Where I met my end. Voice whispers in my ear again. Uh, if this... If this isn't where the owner... owner uh, the voice owner died, they must have met their end elsewhere. There's only one other place. While Mary's in the room next door, I sprint down to the entrance hall. I make a beeline to the sofa and the spot where the rabbit died. The voice that spoke to me and helped me many times. Every time my spirit was closing in, it was Saya working through anything. Saya was working through anything. It must have been that rabbit. I knew it. The rabbit was Saya Kujo, and I think I am her older brother, Masamune Kujo. Sensing something, I look down at my hand. And Shibusu's impurity is gone! Is this what you've been telling me, Saya? I speak to the departed woman who's guided me as I struggle without memories. But the Nenjibutsu, the source of the doll's curse. Press it to the black mark. Black mark is on her right arm! And the whispers stop. Floorboards creak ominously. I raise my head to the staircase, rising into the darkness before me. Dark figure stands on the landing. I found you! Yeah, you did! Oh, so many marks now! The mark scorches me! Oh, fuck me! My head goes blank. Mary's coming closer. My body won't listen to me. Whoa, that's fucked up. Ah, Lord Yashiki. So I need to do, like, my left, which is her right arm. Mary closes her hands around my neck. She's trying to kill me. I squeer. He's the Nenji. the Nenji Jutsu in the fog that's impeding my thoughts lifts. It's still a struggle to think. I should be able to move my arm now. Put the Nenji Jutsu on the place. Uh, on the source of the curse. I have one chance. Where should I stick the Nenji Jutsu? Her right arm. It's her right arm. Right arm! Managed to drag my impossibly heavy arm to stick the Nebujutsu on Mary's right arm. She's hiding it. But I'm sure that's where the black market was. Marks bloom on Mary one after another. They're all the color of blood. They look like the curses of those she killed. Oh, I did it! Oh. I survived! I fucking did it! I beat Mary! Oh, that bitch! Oh! Oh, damn. Mary shatters into dust. Yeah! Did I really do it? I instantly looked down at my right arm. The mark is gone! I did it? I finally did it? I have to say it out loud to convince myself. Huh. Victory at the expense of Saya's life. I can't claim it's completely over, but... It's 
No harm being relieved for now. Fog clouding my head clears away. My memories slowly return to me. I look around the dimly lit hall again. I know this mansion well. Because I'm... Clock on the second floor begins chiming wildly like it did ten days ago. When I make my way up to it, it stops. Almost as if it had a will of its own. That's right, this grandfather clock. I think a skilled ancestor of the Cujo family crafted it. That one chisel may have been used to make it. That's right. Inside this clock. I open the door and stick my hand inside. My fingers brush against something hard. Taking it out, I realize it's a voice recorder. I press the play button. Oh, this on? This is Masamune Kujo. It's a man's voice. A voice I know all too well. It's my own voice. It's my voice. I decided to leave this recording behind in case something should happen. That doll may dispose of any files or documents. I'm banging on her overlooking a piece of technology. As I listen, I start to remember recording this. I've done it right before I received the, the mark from Mary. Now, where should I begin? <sighs> it started five years ago. Two years after I became the, Fu the Cujo family head. My sister, Sai, and I found a doll in a wooden box while sorting the warehouse. The moment I broke the seal and saw her, I sensed something sinister. But it took a while longer to fully understand what she truly was. If only there had been records. But... The great-grandfather who sealed her didn't leave any before his early death. Because of that, his descendants weren't told about the doll. I managed to learn the doll had been loaned to an army lab during the war. A strange old man who lived in an underground shelter told me. Then I went overseas to try and get more information on the doll. But I got into an accident while away and was presumed missing. So Saya became the new family head. I wasn't able to contact her until after she inherited the title. It wasn't something worth contesting. So I explained everything and had her keep up the facade that I was missing. Public records still stated that... Public records still stated Masamune Kujo was very much alive, of course. Couldn't have my passport or license otherwise. I'm off topic. I'm off topic, sorry. I only just returned to the country last week. Other psychics abroad all agreed it had to it, it would be bad to leave the doll be. Nenjibutsu inside the doll still suppressed its cursed power, but I realized it was almost at its limit. If I left it alone, it would crumble. And it would be impossible to surpass the curse of the doll. Suppress the curse of the doll, sorry. Ooh. That was the worst case scenario. But what was to be done? The answer I came up with was to remove the Nenjibutsu from the doll temporarily. The impurity would be cleansed after a month stored in a pure area. And then I'll place it back in the doll. If I succeed, the doll's power will be sealed for a few more decades. The problem is that, is that one month. I have no idea what kind of curse will be released when the doll is sealed. I'll do what I can to prevent disasters. But my power can't compare to the Nenjibutsu. I can't guarantee anything. There may be victims again, like the tragedy 50 years ago. 
but this is a necessary evil. It must be done in order to prevent even more people from falling victim. After this, I'll disassemble the doll and remove the Denjibutsu. I pray everything goes according to plan and the worst of evils is avoided. I hope this record isn't needed. But, if the one listening to this has a loved one who's fallen victim to the curse, then I'm very sorry. And it was Saya who was the only victim. The recording ends there. Damn it. Clench my fists so hard my nails stick into my palms. Yes, the voice in the tape was mine, but I'm furious with it. I know that... I don't know that person at all. Mark had claimed so many victims over the past month. He even lost my little sister, Saya. Was she just another inevitable victim that the voice spoke of? I... Oh my god, this seems like a very important choice. It had to be done. I'm Kazuo Yashiki, but I'm also Masamune uh, Kujo. I understand why he felt as if he had to do that. It was his fate. The Kujo family are forever linked to that cursed doll. Ooh. Kanan Soldier and... I kind of thought the epilogue would cover, like, this part of it, but no, it, it didn't. Well, I'm getting the epilogue now, I guess. Two months have passed. The occasional cool breeze signals that summer is almost over. I spent my time putting the case of the mark to rest as best I can. I put Saya to rest by burying the rabbit and contacting the surviving mark bearers. Putting the Buddha statues in place, uh, in place of honor was also one of those tasks. They weren't connected to the mark after all, but I couldn't just leave them there. Plus, there was no way Christie would keep quiet about the statues. So with her guidance, and Yasuoka, Daimon, and Banshee's help, I carried the broken statues out of the shelter and returned them to H-Shrine. By now, my memory has completely returned. Things didn't quite go as originally planned, but at least the danger has passed. I don't think my decision as Masamune Kujo was wrong. But, at times, waves of powerlessness and despondency overwhelm me. When I think of the victims of the Mark and Saya in particular, my chest hurts. I want to do something for them as the new head of the Kujo family. But the memories I've regained. I became the Kujo family head seven years ago. I'll admit, I was a bit of a recluse. I left the public appearances to Saya, preferring to stay out of the spotlight. The only photos of me are small local newspapers. I uncovered Mary by accident in the family's warehouse five years ago. It was, it was a discovery that changed my life. I traveled extensively abroad in order to learn more about Mary. In one country, I got into an accident and fell into a coma for half a year. Well, that makes sense. Even worse, that country proceeded to treat me as an unidentified traveler. And I don't know if it was merely my terrible luck, or if it was Mary's curse that had something to do with it. When I finally got... <clears throat> when I was finally able to contact home, Saya had already become the new head. We already know all this, though. I, I, I mean, it, a, a nice refresher, but I mean, we already know all this. The rest was as the tape said. <clears throat> I had no idea that Mary's power was far greater than I had imagined. All of my efforts to suppress her power were completely useless. My memories unraveled faster than I thought. How did Mary come to be in the first place? One theory says a doll maker in the 19th century used magic to create her. 
Hmm. So I was right with my initial assessment. Very fucking creepy doll. Seemed nice for a while, but that was all just a ruse. You bitch. I'm glad you exploded. Another says a spirit of a young girl who died prematurely took up residence in the doll. That... I can believe that. In the end, it's still a mystery. No one knows what happened to create a doll like that. We only know that each of, uh, each of Mary's owners died tragic deaths. Shortly after the turn of the 20th century, she came to be owned by the head of the Cujos. He either didn't know of the curse or simply didn't believe it. Disasters began befalling the family. Mary gained enough power to become sentient and produce spirits. Then the tragedy in the shelter happened. Seething grudges of the experiments, victims, and the Buddha statues. They have triggered her awakening. Whatever Mary's true identity is, the fact remains she altered people's lives. Well, people's fates. Mine and the Mark Bearers included. Speaking of, an update on the surviving Mark Bearers. I saved all of them. I did it. I'm good. Ooh. Moe Watanabe became a part-time writer for her favorite magazine. Oh, P Arts Monthly. Cool. She sometimes comes to Kujo Mansion to interview me about spirits and ghosts. Following her dream, good. Tsukasa Yoshida is studying every day for the middle school exams next year. <laughs> he bragged in his letter to me about how well he did in the national mock tests. <laughs> Satoru Mashida bought me a drink, like he promised. Seems like he's been thinking about becoming a private detective. He actually asked me if I wanted to join him. Was he serious? I don't know for sure. Sho Nagashima is picking fights, riding his bike, and doing whatever he wants, as usual. But recently, out of the blue, I heard he's joined his neighborhood baseball team. Yeah! Good for him! Christy Arimura has started writing an essay exposing all of her past affairs. She's trying to get back at the back into the industry. Oh, well, that's something. Suzu Moriyama was able to see her father! Oh, that's wonderful! Lately, she started asking me for advice on how to get her parents to reconcile. I have no idea if I helped at all, but she says they sometimes have meals together now! Oh! Oh, that's wonderful. After my parents split up when I was a kid, that never happened. They can be civil when they meet in public, but there's no way they'd sit down for dinner with each other. Oh. Ah, uh, Eita! Eita Nakamatsu has gone back to surfing the BBS every day, as usual. What's new is he stopped is he's been stopping by the city employment center. Guess he wants to get a steady job and be a role model for Suzu. Huh, best of luck to him. Yes! A day doesn't go by that I don't see Ai Kashiwagi on TV as part of Love and Hero. <clears throat> oh, she said she said to take it like promised, but I needed to drum up some courage to go to a concert for teens alone. Okay, I need to drum up some courage to go to a concert for teens alone at my age. Oh, that's nice. Okay, Toko. Uh. Yos uh, Yasuoka is still working as a fortune teller in Ginza. Oh, I'm sorry I ever suspected you were evil, lady. Mary was the real evil one. Apparently she believes I have spiritual powers or something. She keeps sending customers with spirit problems to the mansion. I wish she would stop. Madoka Hiro spends her days working as a researcher while also visiting the shelter. Her and Banshee squabble a lot, but I wish she'd stop complaining to me about it. Ooh, the doctor! Okay. Shuji Daimon seems to be uh, doing better now, like a weight's been lifted off his chest. 
is in the process of convincing officials to publicize the shelter and build a memorial for it. That's nice of him. He's a good guy. I like him. Excellent. <laughs> Banshee Ito has returned to his beloved underground shelter. He stops by the mansion sometimes, filling the place with his scent. Of course, he comes to beg me for food. That makes sense. You're like super rich now, so, you know, well, not now, but you were because you were before, but you, you mean what I know. Huh. Now then. I finished my break and returned to the workbench in the corner of the room. Uh. Over the past two months, Mary has managed to repair herself. Her power hasn't completely come back yet, but she's uh, still extremely frightening. Ah, uh, the Ninjibutsu alone won't be enough to continue sealing her powers in the years to come. Oh, damn. I must prepare extra spiritual measures. It's taken a long time to get those ready, but I've... But today, I'm finally finished. What am I doing? Once everything is complete, I replace the Ninjibutsu inside Mary. Finally, it's over. Pick Mary up and put her in a wood. Uh, put her. Put her in wood box. Five years. This all started when I opened the lid of this box. Mary stares up at me from the depths of the box. I have no idea if she's aware of what's happening right now. But there's no doubt she'll regain her powers when the Ninjibutsu wears out decades from now. I'm determined to find a way to destroy this cursed doll before that happens. Until that day, you need to stay asleep, Mary. Death mark end. Woo! I did it, guys. I freaking did it. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, that game was fantastic. Oh, uh, uh, thank you, Axis Games, for bringing this to us. Oh, I'm so happy with this game. It was... It was low... I won't, I won't say low budget. It's not low budget, but it was very refined in the way it used its budget. It found... It, like, yeah, a lot of corridors were repeated and everything, but yeah, it definitely wasn't bad. Rika Tachibana. I don't recognize that. <clears throat> huh. I'm sorry, I'm just reading the credits here, but, um, yeah. I'm... I'm double-checking to make sure that I got, like, the best ending that I could. Ooh. That is a cool image, though. Okay, a gallery has been added to the title screen. I can view the game illustrations. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. Am I going to go back to the title screen? Or am I going straight into the DLC? I think I might be going straight into the DLC. And now... A lot of time has passed. Yup. Looks like this goes straight into the DLC. But I don't want to... I don't want to do, like, just the DLC myself. Like, well, not not in this episode. That was a good ending. I'm going to call that the ending, and I'm going to call it right here. Um, so, yeah. Like, you know, of course, I'm going to keep playing, like, after this episode and record the next episode to get, like, you know, like, just get the start on the DLC. But, damn. That was a fantastic game. 
And here's the thing, is that I didn't even start to suspect Mary until, like, the game gave me the hints. Because here's the thing, I really should have. I really realized a few times I should have. Because I was like, who could have killed Mary and the rabbit? And then I was like, because like, the rabbit seemed good. Because the rabbit was Sayakujo, turned out. So, yeah. Um, oh, also, I read up on it. In the uh, quote-unquote normal ending, the... Uh, the mark bearers who die hold a grudge against you, and you die because of it. Oh. Okay, yeah. Basically what happens is that um, Mary transforms any of the mark bearers who didn't survive into vengeful spirits... And they curse you, and then Mary gets you. So yeah, that's basically what happens in um, the regular ending. I could go back and get that regular ending if I really, really wanted to. Because basically, basically, I would just have to. Let, I just have to let one, just one, of the characters die, which would probably end up being um, what's her name? Uh, just the one from Chapter Five. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. I am... I am going to do that for you. And I'll do that in this episode here. Um, I'm going to... Give me just a second. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm back at the main menu now. Because uh, I'm going to reload my old save. But here's the gallery. <laughs> oh. Oh, cool. It shows me all of this. This is cool. I like this. Hanahiko. I see. So we can go through the whole um, sequence, can it? Hanahiko seems like one of the only spirits that didn't change once you got up close to you. You just got a clearer look at it. Okay. Events. Moe seized by the roses. No particular reason to see this. No, none at all. But yeah, this is some fucked up tentacle hentai here, man. I mean, like, yeah, Japan is unfortunately a pretty sexist country. Hanahiko's cursed revenge. Oh, right, because in the first chapter, I just got it right completely on my own. I didn't make any mistakes. So... Apparently, this is what happens if you, uh, fuck up in the first chapter and either Moe or Tsukasa will die. Okay. And we already saw that. Yeah. Fuck you, Mary. Fuck you, Mary. I don't feel bad for you anymore. I feel bad for the rabbit now. Dear God. Oh. Long-awaited dinner. Oh, that's if I fuck up. Okay. Uh. Oh. And closer. And closer. Oh, and that's if I get the marks. But... That is if I don't. Okay. And these I have not gotten yet because I have not... Oh yeah, it looks like there's still one more chapter with a bunch of stuff to still happen. Cool. Okay, I'm back. So, took a little bit of time. Not very long, just a few minutes because I skipped past all the dialogue. But I'm going to show you both like the ending where you like put the... Like like the, the Buddha, the... the the ninja bootsu in the wrong spot, so that, you know, of course, you die. And then, uh, this is a file in which I did not save, um, Madoka Hiro. You know, the one that we saw last, uh, a couple episodes ago now, where she got her head lopped off. So yeah, I let that happen again, so we could get the bad ending, just so that we could see it. Oh, Mary is so fucking creepy now. Okay. And here she comes. 
I'm gonna put it on the left arm because oh no, I'm gonna stick it in her mouth. Eat this bitch! Om nom nom. Mary's, uh, I shoved it in there. Die! And she ate me. Game over. Time to decide again. All right. Oh, I just start the whole thing over again. Well, that's annoying, but I'll, I'll get back and I'll show you the bad ending then. Okay, and now I gotta get it on the right arm. And she's gonna die again! Yeah! I did it. She exploded. Let's see if this is any different. Mary shatters into dust. The mark's gone. I finally did it. Okay. And then we're going to get all of our memories back. Oh, I'm going to try picking the other selection this time. I can't forgive him. Ooh, that'll be interesting to hear. I can't forgive him. Ever since I lost my memories, I've lived as uh, Kazuo Yakushi. My blood boils at what Masamune Kujo did. That's the end of that chapter. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's going to talk about the other Mark Bears, or either that or it won't, and I'll just, you know, it'll just go straight to the bad ending, but we'll see. Two months have passed. The case of Cool Breeze signals that summer is almost over. I spent my time putting the case of the Mark uh, to rest as best I could. Put Sia to rest by burying the rabbit and contacting the surviving Mark Bears. Okay, yeah, so this is what we've seen before. Okay. is completely returned. Okay, yeah. Skipping all this because we've already seen this. Okay, so even in the tr even in the true ending, we don't find out exactly what Mary is, but yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, it just talks about all the people who survived again. Skipping all this. All the mark bearers who became victims, all for the sake of the terror Mary sought. Whenever I remember them, my chest aches and I can't help but think, is it possible? Do they bear a dark grudge against me for surviving? I'm so sorry. How many times have I murmured that useless and meaningless apology? I become more determined each time. All I can do, I'll do now is make sure the tragedy never happens again. For that, I need to hurry my preparations for putting the Nebujutsu inside Mary. Let me do so alone won't be enough to continue sealing her powers in the years to come. I must prepare extra spiritual measures. It's taken a long time to get those ready, but today I've finally finished. Oh no! Did the mansion just lose power? What's going on? What is this feeling? My arm is burning! Mark's back! 
Why is the mark? What? What's happening? Calm down. I need to calm down. First, I need to get a grasp on my situation. That's how I survived this long. Oh. A horribly familiar noise echoes in the hall. There... You... Are... Ah, <laughs> uh, yep, and that is the bad ending. Oh, damn. Ooh. It was fun to get that ending. I am glad that I decided to show that to you guys because now, next time, I can work on uh, the, uh, like, what is it? Come on, brain. I can work on uh, the DLC. Well, it's not really DLC, it's an after chapter now because in this version of the game, it's not DLC. But it does look very interesting and it looks like there's going to be tons of stuff to do in there, so... I am super excited to see what's going to go down, and, you know, I just want to say thank you, everyone, for joining me on this amazing adventure. This game has been fantastic, and I cannot, cannot wait to see, like, you know, where the game is going to go in, like, this final, like, little thing here. But, yeah, it's been an amazing adventure, and thank you for being here to experience it with me. So, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Appreciate you being here, like I said. Next time we're getting getting into that uh, extra chapter there. There's something about Little Red Riding Hood. That's all I saw. I don't really know much else, and I I like I don't, I don't like going into these games, like you know, knowing things. I like to not be spoiled. So thanks again, and until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers. <laughs>